Welcome to a meal prep shop. This will be a grocery shop video. I am getting things on point with my nutrition. It's time to hold myself accountable by doing these weekly meal prep shop videos. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Diela Joy. I've lost over 110 pounds on my weight loss journey. I lost the majority of my weight eating a one meal a day fasting schedule. All it is, is taking my calories, which were 1,200 to 1,400 calories at the time, and eating it within a four hour eating window. That's what one meal a day is. It's just compressing your calories into a small eating window. I made this transformation from my overall weight loss journey, which I started off at 282 pounds. I've only found success on my weight loss journey with the metabolic switch. I started off with the common sense diet. That only plateaued and then I got onto a keto diet eating throughout the day and then I found the power of one meal a day but right now we are doing a keto diet eating throughout the day and we will be carb cycling here and there because I am building muscle as I'm recovering from a car accident and I'm trying to heal my body with all the muscle imbalances that's going on which is causing pain so this week will be a low carb week I believe around when I ovulate, because I'm corresponding this to Dr. Mindy Pelz's Fast Let Go to Girl schedule, I'm probably gonna incorporate some carbs. And then I will go back to a low carb regime, and then the week before my cycle, I have to have carbs. So carb cycling according to my cycle. So if you wanna know stuff about weight loss, interested in getting motivated, hit that subscribe button, come join the fam, because I am so motivated to get myself back to where I was. I am so motivated to not only get myself back to where I was, but to get even better and to inspire you guys to do the same thing. We can do hard things. This weight loss thing can happen. The key to weight loss is consistency. Consistency with your calorie number. Obviously adding in the metabolic switch in there too. But the way I lost the weight with Keto OMAD or with keto was being consistent with my calories, having a number and sticking to it every single day. All right, so this is my list right now. So the goal with this whole meal plan thing, you'll see that, is basically eating a meat or a egg source and vegetables. That's the key. Meat and vegetables for every freaking meal. So I gotta go to Costco. I'm gonna grab some edamame at lemons, cauliflower rice, chicken thighs, and um smoked salmon so you know those salmon strips i like to have that with my eggs in the morning and then some french green beans ground beef and pickles pickles are so important pickles are a very good tool on your weight loss journey especially when you're doing keto because it helps you retain salt and when you're eating salty or fermented foods it keeps you fuller longer because you're feeding your gut microbiome and then I gotta go to Superstore, get their English cucumbers. I love the eggs at Superstore. Some edamame pasta and some Mediterranean style fish. That's mackerel in the cans. And then I'm supposed to go to the Calgary's Farmer's Market, but unfortunately it isn't open today. So I'm gonna do that another day. And for my son, he wants steak, potatoes, gravy, and spaghetti. So we are gonna go to Costco. Let's get it done. Of course I got distracted and I decided to get this little active wear top. I got extra large because I like having my tops loose. Like this top on me right now is uh, large, but I just like having my tops loose and my legs tight when I work out. Ooh, my legs look good. Hmm.
most successful shop. I spent $127 on groceries and $98 on miscellaneous stuff. <laughs> well, not really miscellaneous. I thought I would get the toothpaste. Um, like this is gonna save me money in the long run. And a bunch of floss and then this sweater thing and razors. Cause I've been getting hairy lately. I don't know why. Off to Superstore next. Not gonna lie, I am feeling slightly hungover. I drank a lot of rum last night, and then I found out that rum has sugar in it. <laughs> I thought rum was one of the safe alcohols, but it is what it is. I will be drinking, not a lot, only when I go to do my podcast. I do my podcast at a bar, so and I'll be at that bar quite a bit. Um, the food there is amazing and it's very keto friendly. They make everything from scratch. It's called Cax Bar and Podcast and Grill. It's down in Calgary. I'll link the address down below, but their food is incredible. So I can get safe keto options there, but um, yeah, I, you can lose weight with alcohol. You just gotta know what alcohol to drink. Like it's vodka, which I hate, <laughs> gin, whiskey and i'm probably missing one. Oh, and dry red wine so i can live off of that but um it's just a matter of making it fit into my macros or my calories more than anything but i'll probably be drinking only once a week and not too often but yesterday i went pretty hard it is saint patty's day weekend but <laughs> I am back home and here are all of the groceries slash random stuff I got. So we're gonna do a little grocery haul here. Um, inflation is killing me. I'm sure it's killing us all, but we're gonna make sure we stuff our face with vegetables this week and that 
I'm fed and that my son's fed and of course Bo's fed because I'm actually on her food right now. All right, grocery haul. We'll just start off with what I got Bo. Got Bo some freeze dries beef liver treats and a whole thing of turkey dinner. It's turkey dinner, chicken dinner, and beef dinner. I have to cook for this dog. Yeah, I cook for Bo. It's ridiculous. She won't eat it raw. She's high maintenance. Bo has been having a lot of issues with her digestive system ever since she was a puppy. So my friend taught me a recipe on how to help her. So yeah, um, this is Bo's food. Next, this is from Safeway. This is just a quick snack grab I got for Alex. Um, just some wedges and wings. I won't be having any of that. Again, that is for Alex. The rule is before he has this, he needs to eat his vegetables and his main food. So he's eating his food right now. So he's going to get his hand on these banana chocolate chunk muffins and his favorite blueberry muffin. He'll probably have one per day. Another side note of the haul. So I ended up paying for this separately from Costco. I just want to save money on this stuff. Floss. So I got like six of these for $19. And again, with the Pro Enamel toothpaste, I got four of these for $19. It kind of saves you money. And I got about, is it 16 of these or 14 of these? Now, I ended up getting 14 cartridges for these. This is going to be, this was a total of $34, but it saves me money because one of these is $15 and they only come with two. So you get 14. You got a lot. So... I like to bulk buy certain things that I always use at Costco. And then I bought this little oversized sweater here. I can probably get a size large or medium with this, but I went with extra large because I like my top loose, like I mentioned at the store. All right, Costco, stop your face with vegetables. I love cauliflower rice. You can mix it with just about anything if you know how to season it right. You'll see videos of me cooking this. I got some sirloin steak for my son. He requested some steak and potatoes. Got this at Costco. Not bad. You get about how many pounds? 1.288 kilograms. So that's a lot for $29. That's not too bad. That's why I like Costco. It saves me money. For some reason, I decided to buy ground, extra lean ground bison. I don't know why. I'm not sure why I bought bison, but I bought bison. <laughs> I'm like, why did I buy that? I need ground beef. But luckily, I've got some frozen ground beef here um, from Save On Foods, which was so good, and some beef sirloin strips that I need to cook. So I'll just have that. And there's some fish from yesterday. So we'll figure out what I do with the bison. Then for my gut health drink every morning, I have my lemon water with some cayenne pepper and some apple cider vinegar to get my gut health started this is the first thing i have in the morning um this is not costco but i think we're transitioning off of costco not quite this is from costco i got this oh my god so good so i've been liking having smoked salmon slices like this um i just think it's just a quick way to have salmon and i can definitely have it with what you would call it with salads and stuff so I thought I would get a pack at Costco. It cost me quite a bit, 34 bucks, but you get a lot. So I'm gonna keep these frozen and have them in salads. Again, you'll see that all play out in my videos. Another Costco shop is this bulk thing of edamame. I was always trying to figure out how much edamame, I'm getting shadow in here. Photography 101, just switch things around because the lighting is on this side. But this edamame, for some reason, I don't know, I forget to put it in the app properly, but um, one bag steamed is about 180 calories because uh, half a bag is 92, so 184 calories, which is pretty good. I boil it, love edamame, one of my favorite ways to get in vegetables, and it's packed with protein. I think that's it for Costco. Now to Superstore. I decided to get a veggie tray because I need to eat vegetables. Stuff my face with vegetables, so I'm going to be eating that pretty soon. I love these English cucumbers. They're so freaking good. So these are going to be all in my salads. Got a big pack of Caesar salad here. It's just naked salad, so I'll have my, you know, my whole little Caesar salad thing. 
back to the kale. Kale is one of my favorite vegetables. But someone on YouTube mentioned a comment about kale and it had some toxicity in it. And I was like, oh my god. So I stopped buying kale. And I didn't think I grabbed the organic one, but I did. <laughs> it's okay. I kind of wanted the organic one. So I got some organic kale. I'm just going to have that as a snack. And then I got some mixed greens. That's going to be mixed with balsamic vinegar, maybe some salmon, some of this salmon, and there you have it. Next, I got some Bio Italia organic jumbreet pasta. This does not give me any symptoms because it's made in Italy and the Italians still use the natural wheat that we do not use here in toxic North America. Hello, edamame. Hello, edamame. Yes, edamame. These were on sale. It was actually limit of four, but I couldn't find any. These are zero or zudos, but um, edamame pasta because I'm going to be having spaghetti. Russet potatoes for my son. I'm going to make mashed potatoes with these. I know these are baking style, but I don't know. I got lazy. And my favorite eggs from the Amish here in Calgary. Not in Calgary, but they're in Alberta somewhere. These eggs are so good. The yolk is just mm, yellow, yellow, yellow. These are from, oh, the Heterite. Yeah, that's Amish, right? Heterite. They sell this at Superstore. So there's that. A few mo more things here. I got um, this for my son, gravy. I'll probably have some too if I have one of those steaks. Got some tomatoes. I'm probably going to put that on my salad because I didn't get a chance to go to the farmer's market and they're not open Sundays. They're open from Wednesday to Saturday. So that sucks. And it's Sunday today. And then I got my golden seal mackerel. Love these mackerels. So good. Mediterranean style. Mm -mm -mm. Got some bouillon, beef bouillon for Bo. And I got a couple cans of salmon, as you can see right there i decided this is the salmon i usually have and then there's like this special pink rose salmon so there is my grocery haul all right that was my grocery haul video i filmed more but that video is already way too long that food's gonna last me quite a bit so maybe this is probably like a two week shot we'll see i might have to add things with vegetables but yeah if you made it this far into the video, just drop in the word vegetables because I'm telling you, no matter if you're doing a carb diet or a keto diet, vegetables are the key to weight loss because of the volume it provides, because it feeds the gut microbiome, the fiber, and so forth. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Sorry for the late upload today. I've been really struggling with my concussion and stuff, but things are good. Um, if you didn't see my live stream, I'm taking my personal trainer certification and I'm looking to become a personal trainer. So yeah. Anyway, send you guys my love. Take care. Bye.